But, uh, yeah, they were very good sound editing. Oh, absolutely. So they are saying here that a few manufacturers still make cassette decks and evil, even portable players, like a Walkman, if you remember that piece of history. Oh, yes. Many smaller labels are releasing new cassettes, like they're doing with albums, and, so, and have top acts like, well... Here's where they lost me. Uh-oh. Top acts like Justin Bieber, Kanye West, Halsey, oh, God. And, Met- and Metallica. Uh, so they threw one in there for us. Uh, okay. You can get reissued cassettes that. by Prince and Nirvana in the retro format, too. So it was just kind of interesting that they say you know, cassettes are coming back. Well, now. some of us actually know how to you know, use them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because uh, let's face it. I mean, it's kind of cool that, you know, you, I, like right now I've got my phone in front of me, which has got like three bazillion songs on them. Mm. Unfortunately, only one and a half bazillion of them are mine. <laughs> Because I still don't understand how to use uh, iTunes yet, oh, but yeah. uh, you know, th- I mean, this is like a room full of oh. of, of vinyl or you know cassettes well, or whatever. I've known people who have lost their collection because of either a, a data issue or a, or a, a major fault. Right. And I said, oh well, that's all. Right. You got it backed up. What? <laughs> the, you know, with a computer, if you don't, you got to. Well, that's back what up. happened to it. I backed up over my phone, and it's yeah, gone now. You, you know, go. so right. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of hard to do when you have like larger, unless you're really, really an A. Really, well, inebriated. iTunes backs up to their server. That's yeah, that's the cloud. Great. But like you know, my phone, I, I I tell my kids all the time. My wife said this thing is. I don't call it a phone. It is a handheld confu- computer. This thing's a. It is. It's almost a transponder. It does kind of take you back through time if you look at some old videos, but. So it doesn't do what we really want it to do, but it really it is a computer, and as such, every, the beginning of every month, I plug it into the computer at home and my computer at work, and I and I back, back it up, up to the hard drive. Yep, it mm-hmm. backs up all my contacts, my uh, uh, text messages. It backs up uh, my notepad that I keep all my notes on, and all that cool stuff. The yep. address book. And for all the, for those of us older individuals who are developing CRS mm-hmm. more and more as we as we get older, I mean, this thing just remembers a lot of stuff. phone numbers. Yeah. Okay, come on. Who knows phone numbers anymore? I know it's the phone like, numbers from 40, 50 years ago. <clears throat> right, right. I mean, everything. Remember is the number up. at the house you grew up in? Yeah. I do, too. Yeah, so, I mean, basically, uh, th- that kind of stuff. Because now you just find the picture of whoever you want. You hit, you know, you hit it with your thumb, and the next thing you know, you're talking to them. Exactly. But uh, there's a whole generation of people that don't like don't have phone numbers drilled into their heads. That's right. You know what I mean? So if, if this thing goes away, you're in big trouble. I mean, and let's face oh, it, yeah. these now, as far as automotive goes, I mean, let's face it, if you don't have uh, some... You don't have a particular uh, medium, i.e. cassette, CD, play, or whatever. You plug this into the auxiliary port, and now you got all these songs for that road trip. That's right. I mean, we did th- we did that quite a bit in, in, on the way out to Vegas because I was in a, you know, okay. un- an unfamiliar car, but it knew all my music, and, and I didn't have to lug everything with me. You know? Back in the day, if you were going to go out with a couple friends and you are going to go take <coughs> a road trip, even if it was somewhere you know, fairly local... Guys would bring the music, yeah. They bring, hey, I, yeah, I brought the new, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the new, the I, new Led Zeppelin album, yeah, yeah whatever. I got the new uh, Creedence, hey, cool, let's put it in. Yeah, just gotta remember to take it with right. you. Right, um, and phones now can be scan tools too. That's true. You know, you could get a little uh, wireless dongle. I love that word. Yeah. Uh, plug it into your OBD port, and uh, you could actually pull codes and whatnot without having to act. walk around and uh, keep your scan tool in your glove compartment, like I like some people I know. Right. Um, and uh, they're, they're pretty good. So, unfortunately, these things have become part of the automotive landscape as well, yeah. both as an entertainment and as a tool. Absolutely. I, keep, I, I was going to get one for this phone here, but you know what? I'd lose the dongle. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? And that's, you know, when you, once your dongle's gone, you, then you're you in think, big trouble, right? things, things just are never the same again. Right. Because trying to get them reattached is, <laughs> you know, it, lots of bills you got to send away and all that kind of stuff. And uh, under the circumstances there, you know, it's it's better just uh, it's just better to keep it in a safe place. And as you say, Ray, that's our public service announcement for the day. Back up your phone. Yeah, back up your data. To something. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Other than that, and they, the pictures too. You get to back up all your all your photos. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Phone. Because you know, CRS, you're not going to remember half the stuff you took pictures of. That's right. And uh, you don't want this. I don't know about you, but I don't want some of this incriminating stuff getting into the wrong hands. So we want to keep it secure. So yeah, I had a, I had another thought as you were talking. I said, oh, that's a good one. Let me come back to that now. Of course. It went right out. I know. It goes out, of, it goes out of my head, too. I think it made it to the parking lot. I think it made it, it's all the way out there. Maybe we'll catch it after the show. Yeah, it'll be standing there waiting for us. You dummies, you forgot to mention the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But uh, you know, that's, that's the way. That's how we roll around here. Stream of consciousness, although the stream has some rocks in it. And he's going for the most yeah, dangerous I, notebook, I which is the you, original technology. I did get a date nailed down for the Duplicolor women. 
Uh, they were going to come in this so week. So you nailed down a date with a couple of Duplicola women? Yeah. Okay. They're kind of like aliens from... Uh, just just, just, just the date, right? Now you didn't nail the women, right? No, I didn't nail women. No, Because that gets from, bloody. From Andromedus 5, they're out there. <laughs> but it's actually the date of the Malba show. It's September 10th. Ah. We have Paulette Grimmy and Amy uh, Lenerth. And Amy does actually some of the videos that are on there. Um, oh, yeah, check that out. I actually, I don't know if I sent it to you a while ago. I'll resend it to you. Uh, Paulette had sent me, I think, four or five videos that they that Amy was part of, mm -hmm. and uh, where they uh, where they demonstrate the Duplicolor products. Duplicolors, you know, over the years, I, I you know, having been in this business longer than I care to admit, I remember that tree of cans and that tree of little glass bottles. Oh, sure. You know, and you'd rotate around. You'd have the book, and you'd have to know your code. You'd you'd have to know the official name of your color, like Firethorn Metallica, Wimbledon White, or whatever the heck it was. Yeah. You know, which those are pretty much gone away. Right. Um, partially because you really can't duplicate uh, that stuff on a real quick and dirty basis. The thing they're doing they now, which is what we're going to talk about with them, is they have a whole line of products, these paints that you, you can apply, and then you can peel them off again. Oh, that's so you cool. You change yeah. the color of your car. They've, they've really they've done a, a tremendous job of bringing some of this stuff into the 21st century. Yeah. Like some of, some, of, some of their products, as far as you know, touching up and detailing, are, mm -hmm. are excellent. Yeah. yeah, it'd be good to hear from them, I think. Uh, oh. What? I think I remember what it was. Oh, cool. Talking about manufacturers and products. I'll get this one out quick. Uh, yesterday in the shop, I had my own, I had my Impala up on the lift. I said, let me do an oil change. And I brought my pressure bleeder. So let me pressure bleed the brakes. Mm hmm. What I had done was, and of course, with this pressure bleeder, you take a quart of brake fluid. There's a uh, an adapter that goes over the open master cylinder. Right. You invert the. You, you put an adapter on the brake fluid bottle. You invert it, open the valve, and now the brake fluid continually fills the master as you expel as you, it. Right. Right. So I had a half a bottle of castrol fluid, and then I picked up a bottle of uh, Motormite, which is uh, our good friend Rob Stuck's division from mm -hmm. the Dunk Division. Yes. And. Uh, at some point, I had to switch the bottles because I ran out of the Castrol. Mm -hmm. Found out that the neck on the motor mic my bottle was smaller and didn't Ooh. fit the adapter for okay. the for the, uh, the bleeder. So what I had to do is, all right, what am I going to do? You think outside the box? It's just a little puzzle. Let's solve it. I poured the yeah, motor poured into the, the Castrol There you bottle. go. See? I did send Rob an email to let him know. I said, because I don't know if he knows this or not. Mm -hmm. and I don't know mm -hmm. if it's a big deal for them or not, but I figured let me let him know uh, that this is something. Well, who that, made the tool now? Um, uh, this, you know, money back. Yes, thank you. Money All right, good. Well, I mean, as far as that goes, um, I'd be interested to know. Uh, actually, it, it might be a good thing to to let the, the folks down at Motor might know that uh, that that happens because. Uh, uh, Mighty Vac. Mighty Vac. And, yeah. Well, Mighty well, Vac's actually, the one thing, and, and and the various chemical manufacturers as well. well. When I look back, I saw that in the box, there is another bottle, a bigger bottle, that right. they give you to put brake fluid in. You're supposed to fill it up. Oh, does, all right. So you, if you had like a five-gallon thing of brake fluid, you could fill it from like your So he was supply. cutting the corners. Well, okay, we or, caught you. We caught you. Well, or you can use the quart bottle they give you the adapter for that as well. So right. they did provide you with a way to do it. With any, you know, with just if you had like brake fluid in your hands, you could have put it in their bottle and, you know. Right. Well, uh, just it, a little thing that I found that was just, you know, interesting. Well, you know, come to think of it, though, that is something we want to make the uh, the manufacturer aware of. Mm -hmm. um, I know in my in my day job, quote unquote, I make notes of certain things over here. See, I got to tell you, this the yeah. new vault. See how everything they, they like the panels are red. I, that the, bothers me when I see big red things. Yes, I know. Yeah, I was telling Rob, Kim, when I see big red areas, I get like freaked out it's because okay. yeah, red right, means, yeah, that, no, red, red yeah, red, red, red is a red is a bad color like for Danger indicators. Will Robinson. Yes, seven colors. Which okay, is like yeah, not I, acceptable. I oh, generally so somebody stay picked away that from scheme. Red. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, no, because uh, let's face I it, the, I go Blackies for the blues and purples, and we are very limited with our colors. That scares the other me. Other program had a lot more colors, but less tabs. Right, right, right. Hey, we'll right. we'll live with it. It'll be okay. We'll just, just have to. Know. Red is okay. Right. In this case, yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. As long if it flashes, though. Yeah, I don't know. Is right. That, does that's, that mean that's anything? That's all You know. Game, right. Well, well, let's face it. But getting back to the other thing, real quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, if you find something like that, a politely and succinctly worded email to the company. Um, yeah. I mean, I make a note of this, and I pass this along to the, the, the different departments for whatever, because otherwise, you know, we don't know. And that right. could... Now, granted, what's going to happen is they probably purchased a gazillion bottles. 
So okay. for the next year, you may not see that change because, you know, it's like that, that thing about turning a, a large ship. You know what I mean? Like, right, yes. So it may not come up immediately, but uh, you'd be surprised on how many manufacturers do listen to the people that uh, mm-hmm. use their products. Oh, I've had that happen because I am the guy, and I tell my wife all the time, she'll find something wrong. I'm like, this is the time to write an email to that company. Just, you know, just let them know. Right. I mean, even if... Um, you know, you're not you're not complaining. You're not gonna, you, you don't want to get anything out of it. Just for the information, if they know, and it's like a, like when TV stations and radio stations used to get letters, they would know each if they got a letter, right. they equated to like ten thousand. Right, people. right. There, there's some kind of there's ratio to that, yeah. And a lot of times too, depending on how uh, how hardly how hard the uh, person who receives those letter, those emails are. A lot of times, if you get a response, just like a simple, like, hey, thank you for pointing that out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you know that somebody listened to it. The other thing I like to do, and I'm a big proponent of this, as well as letting them know something that's wrong or that was off, I like to let them know when something really good, when I have a good experience. Yeah, you know, that that, that is true, although I, they have to keep the defibrillator on the wall close to my desk because when stuff like that happens, <laughs> like, holy crap, somebody really thought, right. you like me, you really like me. Yeah, it, yeah. it doesn't happen much, so yes, it would do some of those people good. You know, um, let's face it, uh, sometimes the, in the automotive business, it's a thankless job. You get yelled at a lot. Like, yesterday we went through two starters on like an 85 Chevy Caprice till we oh. got a good one. Really? You know That's what I mean? That's a 5MT. That's the small, the little baby one? The it's, not the little, it's not the little... Yeah, it was the baby one. Yeah, You're right, with yeah. The permanent magnets inside. There's no no screws on the side. Yeah, so in other words, when, when the when the kid went to grab the hammer, the the, the double jack, the, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, basically, uh, it ended up. Um, they were rebuilt, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and a, a large manufacturing company too. Okay. Uh, and uh, the thing is, is that that's when they called me up. I'm like, dude. It's a start. It's got two wires on it. Yeah. Really. And, you know, but just to make sure, like, you just had to go for a ride up in the air with, on the, li- send, the <laughs> yeah. send the kid up in the air. Okay, turn the key. All right. And you check, check your powers with a test light, that right. kind of stuff. So, all right. It's good. You know, I mean, but simple stuff. But to, I, they're like, well, you must have missed something. I'm like, come on. It's two freaking wires. They didn't, it didn't activate at all. Didn't do anything or, or nothing. Nothing. Well, that's, so that's a solenoid issue. Well, yeah, yeah, but at that point, you know, it's like the car stuck on the lift. Yeah, yeah. All right, and, uh, you know, whether you, could, could I finagle with it? Yeah, but meanwhile, I had my hand in three other fires there, so, right. uh, you know, and, and of course, at this point, that particular company's name is Mud in the Shop because sure. we cost them like an hour yeah. to, or an hour I mean, and a half to deliver. You go from the battery to the solenoid with a screwdriver. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 but. You know, basically, at this, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that yeah. it's so easy to tick off your customer base. Yes. You know what I mean? And uh, it's nice to hear about a job well done every once in a while. Although, usually in the car business, it's like, yeah, such and such product, yeah, they don't suck. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Which I've learned to take as a compliment. If you don't hear your name in the list, it's a good thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you know, know? You, your name's not posted on the bulletin board on for the... Uh, but it dis- you know, for uh, detention that day. At least that's the way I used to look at it in school, you know? Exactly. So uh, that's we got the Duplicolor Girls uh, coming yeah, in Yeah, a couple that's a few weeks away. That's in September. And, yeah, there's a few. Uh, we may get Pete in here next week. There's, uh, there's always people in the cloud, and uh, sometimes they drop in, sometimes they don't. But it's, it's a busy time of year. So you're telling me time. to wear my helmet? Wear, always wear your helmet, yeah. Oh, actually. yes. And I think we're going to go take a little local road trip of our own now, Joe. We're going to go maybe look and do some tool shopping. Ah, tool shopping, yes. Uh, yeah, there's a, uh, I think it's a, I, see, I see a booster pack in my future. Yes, me too. I need some Because they also operate scan tools, too, when things are dead, you know, so. All right, so that's it. This week is done for Joe D., Ray Guarino here, Motormouth Radio. We'll see you next week. Stay tuned for Kim, Tracy, and uh, Thunder Road. Thunder Road! And we'll catch you next week.